Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be predicting books that I think I'm gonna give five stars. I feel like I have a really good grasp on what I like in books and I've noticed over the years the average rating that I'm giving books is going up because I think I'm just better at choosing books that I ultimately will love. It's very rare now for me to read a book and not enjoy it on some level, but there are certain genres and tropes and aspects of books that I really love and I tend to rate very highly, certain tropes that tend to pop up in a lot of my favorite books. So I have a list of 10 books here that I am predicting I will give five stars. And I didn't wanna just like randomly select books. I wanted to have like specific reasons why I think I'm gonna give these books five stars based on other things that I've given five stars. What I have done is I have made three categories and these three categories pretty much represent my top three favorite genres. I would say like 95% of the books that I read fit into one of these three categories. And then within that, <laughs> I have specific tropes from each book that I have loved in the past that give me a good reason to think that I would love these books. So the three categories that we have are romance, weird slash horror, and then dark gothic. So let's look at the first category, which is romance. If there was a genre that is the hardest for me to pinpoint what I would give five stars, it's romance because for me, a lot of the romance books that I have given five stars it's not necessarily because of the tropes or the plot or whatever. It's just vibes. It's just, it's purely vibes. It's d did the romance do it for me or did it not do it for me? And you can't really judge that just based on a summary. But I do have three romance books that have tropes that I tend to really, really love. So the first one is Twisted Games by Anna Huang. This is the second book to this Twisted series, I think is what it's called. I read the first book, Twisted Love, a couple weeks ago and was obsessed with it. And I gave the first book five stars. So I'm pretty sure I would give the second book five stars. But the reason why I think definitely I'm gonna love it is because of the tropes that are in it. So the second book is going to be following a princess and her bodyguard. These were two side characters that we met in the first book. And every time there was an interaction between the two of them, I was like, Oh my god, we better get a book with them. And I'm just so excited for this book. I love bodyguard romances, but I honestly haven't found a ton that give me the exact vibes that I want. And just based off of the small interactions that we saw of them in the first book, I think I'm really gonna love it. The next romance book is Never Cross a Highlander by Lisa Rain. This book, when I found it, I was so excited and I immediately wanted to read it. And then I realized it doesn't come out until December which is so tragic because this sounds so good. The short little blurb on Goodreads says that it is a mashup of Dirty Harry in a kilt with Mr. and Mrs. Smith, which is like one of my favorite movies. I don't know how this is gonna play into like a Scottish Highlander historical romance setting, but I'm here for it. I'm so excited. Also, very excited to see a Highlander historical romance with a person of color on the cover. Very excited for this one. You can best believe when it comes out, I'm gonna be reading it right away. And then the third romance book that I think I'm gonna give five stars, this one, I kind of think I'm gonna give the whole series five stars. And that is the Morgan Brothers series by Lauren Rowe. The first book is called Hero. I've been wanting to read the series for a really long time. I've heard great things about it. And the first book, the main character is a fireman. And I love firefighter romance. Romances. I feel like there's not many professions where I'm just attracted to that profession specifically, but there's three where I'm just like, I don't, I don't care who you are. If you are of this profession, I automatically find you more attractive. The first one is a chef. The second one is a veterinarian and the third is a firefighter. So very excited for firefighter romance. I believe that it's a romance between him and his physical therapist, but in general, the series sounds amazing. I think that the other books, one of the main characters is a male stripper. Another one, I think he's a rock star. And then there's a bodyguard one. Like this whole series just has tropes that are totally calling my name. And I can't believe I haven't read it yet, but I really feel like 
me and Lauren Rowe, we're gonna get on. I think I'm gonna give her books five stars. So the next category is the weird slash horror category. First book we have is another one that hasn't come out yet, and that is The Girls Are Never Gone by Sarah Glenn Marsh. Sarah Glenn Marsh is an author that I really love. Her Reign of the Fallen duology was one of my favorites, and y'all totally slept on it. It was so good. If you love queer found families and mages and magic and necromancy, it has one of the best sapphic romances that I have read and it's just like so good and nobody freaking read it but she has a new book coming out that is a YA horror and the blurb says that it is The Conjuring meets Sadie. Let me repeat that in case you didn't hear me. The Conjuring meets Sadie. I love The Conjuring movie franchise. I love Sadie by Courtney Summers put them together, that sounds incredible. So basically it is about this girl who runs a paranormal podcast and she takes an internship at this haunted house and then finds herself in this life and death struggle with an evil spirit. And just everything about this book is giving me five star vibes. The cover looks so freaking creepy and amazing. I already know that I really like her writing. I'm assuming it's going to be queer. I do have an arc of this, so I'm very excited to read it soon. The next one, one is Dead Space by Callie Wallace. This is a space horror, which just in general space horror is my favorite thing ever because it is one of the only things that genuinely terrifies me. So this is about an investigator who has to solve a brutal murder on this claustrophobic space station. It is also queer. The main character is a lesbian and I believe she has a non-binary love interest. So this is another book that can go into my queer space horror so genre that I just love alongside The Luminous Dead by Caitlin Starling, which is my favorite. The next book is The Murders of Molly Southbourne by Tate Thompson. This is a very weird sounding novella. And it's basically about this girl who every time that she bleeds, a clone of her is created that is hell bent on destroying her. So she keeps having to fight and kill all of these clones of her. It just sounds weird and bizarre. And ever since way back when I was like a teenager and I first watched the Vampire Diaries and the idea of doppelgangers was introduced to my brain. I've become obsessed with the idea of doppelgangers and clones and I genuinely know that if I were to have a doppelganger or a clone out there in the world, I would be the Catherine and I would be the one hunting them down. Like, Elena better watch out because I would be coming for her. I would be coming for other Riley. So just the idea of this book really calls to me and I think it's super fun and interesting. There's a lot of movies that I've watched that sort of play with this idea of clones and alternate selves and I love every single one of them. And then the last book in the weird horror category is House of Hollow by Crystal Sutherland. This is another book where if I'm just going off of the vibes of the cover, I feel like I'm gonna love it. The cover is giving me like Wilder Girls meets Horrid, which are two books that I really love. And we're following sisters who, when they were young, they disappeared for a couple months and then returned, looking very physically different and having no memories of what happened to them in their time gone. And then as they grow up, weird things start to happen to them. One of the sisters goes missing and they have to figure out where she went and what happened to her. Everything that I've heard about this book is that it is just super weird and bizarre and it has kind of like a dark fairy tale vibe to it. And then the last category we have is dark gothic. I feel like this really encompasses my taste in fantasy books and historical. So the first book that I have in this category is They Never Learned by Lane Fargo. So this is a dark academia thriller. This follows a professor at this school and every year she basically hunts down the worst man in the school. The men who are like committing sexual assault and abuse and things like that. She figures out who that is this year on campus and kills him. And because of her meticulous planning, she's always gotten away with it. But this year, the body count of the school is starting to raise some suspicions and there is an investigation going on into what is happening at the school. Tons of people have recommended this to me. Like all of a sudden on one of my videos, I was just getting so many people recommending this book to me and I'd never heard of it before. And it honestly just sounds like my perfect kind of book because I I love these type of stories where women get revenge and I don't really like school settings but I like dark academia school settings. I don't even know if that makes sense because I hate when books take place in school but if it's dark academia I love it. 
make it make sense. It doesn't really, but I just love the dark academia aesthetic. This book is also sapphic from what I believe because I have seen people comparing it to Killing Eve, which is one of my favorite shows ever. So I really, really think that this is a book I would give five stars. The next one is Beyond the Ruby Veil by Mara Fitzgerald. This is a dark fantasy. The protagonist is the villain. I believe at the start of the book, she murders the only person in her village who is able to create water. So now there is no water and everyone is going to die of thirst and she has to figure out a way to fix it. It is also sapphic. So we have a sapphic dark fantasy with a villain main character, literally everything that I love. And so many people have told me that I'm really gonna like this book. And then the last five star prediction that I have is Down Comes the Night by Alison Saft. This is a dark gothic fantasy about two enemies from warring kingdoms who find themselves trapped in this haunted mansion overnight and they have to survive all of the evil things that are lurking there. I literally feel like this is just the combination of so many elements that I love. We have an enemies to lovers romance, a haunted mansion, paranormal creatures, and a gothic setting. <sighs> this book just sounds fantastic. So those were all of my five-star predictions. So I'm planning on reading all of these books within the next couple of months so that we can come back and see if all of these predictions were correct. But for now, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!